Welcome to Grace for All, a devotional podcast produced by First United Methodist Church, Maryville, Tennessee. Doing Faith Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. James chapter 2, verses 15 through 17, New International Version. As I was growing up, my mother used to repeat to me a saying passed down from her grandmother to her mother and then to her. It goes like this, Pretty is as pretty does. As conflicted as the cultural messages about beauty and esteem were for an adolescent girl trying to find her way, I understood the truth of those words because I had experienced it. I knew that a person could be physically beautiful, but act in a way that was ugly and unkind towards someone else, and it was like they morphed before my very eyes. In a similar way, We might paraphrase the verses we just heard from the book of James. Faith is as faith does. James is telling us that a living, breathing faith moves with purpose. Faith that is living and active shows itself in good deeds. And if we are not moved to reach out and act when we encounter the needs of others, our faith may as well be dead. Just like my perception of a person's physical attractiveness can be changed when I see them act in a way that is ugly, it is sobering to think how often people's perception of the church is negative because they see a group of people proclaiming faith but don't see that faith lived out in action. Friends, faith is as faith does. How will we do faith in our encounters today? Lord, forgive us when we fail to show our faith in action. Open our eyes to the needs of those around us and move us to live our faith not only in words, but in deeds. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today's podcast. I'm Jonathan Jonas, Senior Pastor of First United Methodist Church. Our church is a vital, vibrant congregation sharing the love and grace of Jesus Christ in Maryville, Tennessee, and now wherever podcasts are available. This podcast is written and produced by the members of our congregation. To know more about this ministry or any of our church's ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G. Join us again for the next episode. And until then, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of God's Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen.